Hey, what's good you guys? It's IDK, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some simple tips on how you can humanize your drum tracks so that they don't sound so robotic and bleh. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so here's the track we're going to be working with. And I'm going to go ahead and solo the drum parts for you. So the first thing we're going to do is add some groove to this loop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon here. And this will open up our groove browser. So we could just right click anywhere inside of this screen. Select browse groove library. And from there, Ableton will open up our browser and show us where our swing and groove patches are. And for me, by default, I normally go to the MPC folder and select this groove. Once there, we'll just go ahead and drag and drop that onto our MIDI track. Now let's hear what this groove is doing. I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments to the global amount. So this step is not really necessary, but for some of you guys who want to see the changes being made to your MIDI clip, go down to the bottom left, you'll see where it says commit, and just hit that button and then you'll see which MIDI notes have been nudged to the left or the right. The next thing we're going to do is add some random velocity changes. We'll open up our browser, select MIDI effects, go down to velocity, and I'm going to use this preset called add some random, and I'm just going to drop that directly in front of my drum rack. From there, I'm going to take this random knob, and I'm just going to adjust it to taste. So now our drum track should have more of a human vibe to it, but I want these hi-hats to have more bounce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into my Max for Live folder, go down to MIDI effects, and I'm going to drag and drop an LFO directly on top of my hi-hat. From there, I'm going to map my LFO to the decay inside of the simpler. And I'm going to make some adjustments to the sustain. Then afterwards, I'll adjust the rate and fine tune it just a little bit more. So now we have a drum track that is giving off more of a human vibe that has more bounce and more swing to it. So let's take a look at what we had before. And let's compare it to what we have now. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Also, if you guys have any questions or would like to share any techniques that you guys have, please do so down below in the comments. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.